cheap dollar store frame. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to angle this down. If you're joining me live, let me know that you're watching. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just angle this down. Oops. So I have this cheap dollar store frame. Oops, well, I just almost knocked it all down. And what we're gonna be doing is customizing it to make it unique. I've gone ahead and I've printed something for the inside of it, but first we're gonna go ahead and paint this. Ugh, okay. It's just, like I said, a cheap dollar store frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart real quick. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome. I am Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs, as you can see. And I am a paint retailer for DIY paint. I also I'm a stockist for Iron Orchid Design and Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. So today, and Recycle Treasures Decoupage Papers. I'm just going to go ahead and take, I have a um, little black dress. I just poured some out and it is a nice black paint. And I'm just going to cover this whole frame. And that's step one. Then I'm going to go ahead and create some a mold to place on here. So I'm just getting this nice and good. This is just an easy way to make it extra special. As you can see, no problems with this DIY paint getting on to the plastic frame. So I'm going to let that dry. And then what I'm going to do is I have Iron Orchid Design trims and I'm going to take some Iron Orchid Design air dry clay and we're going to make a nice um, detailed edging for this a little bit more, give it some more oomph. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm going to put this over here to the side and see if that can balance that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna take one of our skinnier trims and I think I decided, this one or this one, I can't remember. But I'm gonna go ahead, it has some cornstarch in it so I'm not worried about it. But I keep my air dry clay in a Ziploc bag and saran wrap so that I can stay nice and moist. Now, the frame, is longer than the mold so we're going to go ahead and create a longer piece and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to work this clay in my hands it's super super moist and easy to work with and so I like to go ahead since it's a long one I'm just going to go ahead and I think I'm going to do this one and I'm just going to place this in here. I'm going to do it this way. So I can have some, as it goes right in. And I'm just going to work it in here. And then anything that I have excess, I'm just going to push it through. And if you've never used the Iron Orchid Design molds, they have a patented uh, micro rim that gives you a nice clean edge and I love that it's so much easier to use and so I'm just going to go ahead take all the excess because I will take that for one of the other trims and you want to get this nice and flat I'm going to take up all the excess oops all the excess here from in between. Every little bit counts. You never want to waste anything. 
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So now I'm gonna turn this upside down and I'm going to pull this back. I try not to pull it too much, move it, stretch it, because the more that you move it, probably needed a little bit of cornstarch. I did have some on here, but it was old. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out. And then I'm going to put this on here. I just need a little bit more. So I'm gonna get this right at the end. about here and then I'm going to add some more to it I, let me see I'm going to grab this and see so about that much to about here I'll go a little bit I'll go to about here And then I can just cut the excess. And this just helps me to have a continuous piece. And like I said, whatever's extra, I can put it on another one. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this together. Okay, there we go. Have, let me know if you've never used air dry clay before or any of the molds. It's super, super fun and it just makes it more detailed. It just gives you a nice, beautiful, decorative um, piece. Okay. I'm just going to squish that a little bit. All right. Now, DIY paint dries pretty fast, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to look at. All right, I'm going to cut this. I'm just going to cut it right here. I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. That hasn't. I'm going to go. Okay. So I want to make four of that same size. So now that I have the length, I will go ahead and put this in here and then I will finish this one off. So I'm going to make three more and this is all the clay that I have. The clay comes in 14.1 ounces. You can actually get a lot done with this clay. And I chose a cavity too that wasn't so huge and detailed so that's going to help me a lot this is a great gift idea for a loved one um, inexpensive gift idea you can it could be a great teacher gift so what i'm going to be putting inside is um a piece of art that I created and I actually have it up on my website it's under printables and I created it for decoupaging I actually printed it this paper I showed one that I did yesterday I did a box I actually um, we tried doing a video yesterday um, but we had a lot of problems so we ended up having to do it live on Facebook because the system was just not cooperating with us. And um, I had Miss Judy Ham from Vintage Home Sweet Home out of Washington uh, State. A sweet, sweet lady. And I loved having her on. Um, I'm not going to put it on Facebook because since we had to go live on... Oh my goodness. It's like stuck in there. Okay. 
since we had to go live on Facebook, Facebook didn't allow me to go live landscape. I had to do it portrait. We had, I mean, we, I'm talking, we tried doing it for two hours and then finally we're able to get on Facebook live and I just don't like the quality of it and it, uh, it's not conducive to YouTube. So, you know, it is what it is. But, but if you have Facebook, I encourage you to come on and watch. It was so great, and she told a great story. I'll show you the box. It's right here on my dining room table. And um, I'm not finished with it because I decided that I wanted to get some jewelry feet. And I want to go ahead and um, purchase, get those in. I purchased them from Amazon. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> But look how easy, so, so easy to get this back on here and recast. It's so easy to work with. All right, I'm going to try to do this one better. I got a line on it because I pressed it in and I meant to not do it all the way there. So I think that's long enough. All right, let's see. I'm just going to pull it out this way. All right, that one did much, much better. And see how it creates a nice continuous flow. All right, so I'm going to cut this one up the same length. And then I'm going to take, see, here's a great uh, detail of it. So I'm going to grab all of this and mesh it all together. I usually try to keep my clay closed because it is air dry clay. And so it will, it will get hard as it dries. I love using this clay. It's so cool. Um, I like using resin as well too, but I like playing with it. It reminds me of Play-Doh, only so much better because you can do so much more with it. I don't know if you've been watching the entire Christ and Crafting um, marathon, but if you have, let me know. Let me know um, if you have been watching. I hope that you've been encouraged and inspired. I mean, we've been putting together a lot of really cool gift ideas, so even um, that you could, anybody can walk away with with whatever it is and I've got some really great guests that are going to be joining me next week I'm super excited about it I have three guests next week Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday I'll be recording with these ladies from all over the nation I don't even know where some of them live actually so I'm excited to get to know them a little bit better and and hear from them I have a really exciting one on Tuesday I don't want to tell you who it is, but it's going to be super different. It's not going to be anything that we've done before on here. And it's going to be really, really cool. So I hope you'll join me next week for all of those. And I like having people on because everyone does something a little bit different. Gives us a different perspective. And it, um, it's kind of fun. Of course, we get to spread the gospel, but we also get to laugh and teach each other new things. All right. I'm trying not to stretch it because when you stretch it, that's really when it might tear or crack a little bit later. So I'm going to put this in here. So I'm almost done. See how quick that is? When you're joining them, just make sure that you mash it together so that it becomes one because if you don't mash it good enough then sometimes it can crack in that spot of course I don't mind the cracks and in, in the imperfections it doesn't bother me at all but I also don't mind wrinkles when I decoupage um, I don't know if you guys have been noticing either that um, I've been able to post on community it just got opened up for me, which was really, really exciting. So I've been able to post on there, and I've put some polls, 
and I've asked people, it seems like the majority of the people like to do DIY gifts, which is really encouraging. So I think that these 30 days of marathon will be really helpful, maybe give you some ideas. But also I asked what people want to learn and a lot of people want to learn about, well at first it was, the majority was uh, decoupaging, which is great because I love to decoupage even though I have a lot of uh, tutorials on it. I don't mind to do more, but I did get some other people that said that they wanted to know how to stencil, how to um, do more with Iron Orchid, oh I forgot, Iron Orchid Design. Um, so I'm trying to incorporate all the things that people want to know. That's why I asked. I think that's more than enough. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think that right there has a little bit, it's a little bit weak. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna close this up. I've got my saran wrap I'm gonna tie it all up in just helps and then I'm gonna put it back in my ziplock I never want to waste any clay I, may, I probably will have some extra and I'll go ahead and I'll put that in there as well all right I'm gonna put this here to the side so in that time my paint has almost dried I have just a few wet spots and so I'm going to pick these up. I'm going to be careful with this one because this is the weak one. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to go ahead. And I didn't bring, I guess I'll use this. All right. I usually like to do my palette knife with this. Oh, you know what? I did way too much because I didn't even think about, so I'm gonna do this. I didn't think about um, that these are not as long. All right, so I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do my two best ones <laughs> for the long ones and I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna dry fit it. But do you see how it fits in here so great? And it just, it'll give it a little bit more weight and it will give it, um, I'm gonna push this down. That's perfect, that's perfect. All right, so, see how I, I'm gonna do this and put it on top, but I'm dry fitting it. And then I'm gonna take my scissors Make sure it's all in position, and then I'm going to slice it. Okay, so I'm going to take the excess, and then now, see how I just mitered those corners? All right, let's do that again. All right, so I'm, you can see that here. So it's actually, it is better to do it with a palette knife, but... All right, so I'm gonna take that top piece, take this bottom piece. So now it fits perfectly. All right. Take the excess. And then one more. Of course, I'm getting paint. Hey, Ari, I'm sorry. I do need a paper towel or wipes or something. Because I just realized that my wipes that I had here. All right, so see all of this? 
I didn't put any glue or anything, so it's good to go. I can put this right back in here. I just need, um, and, okay, you can put it right down. Thanks. Because I have paint all over my hands. I'm just going to put this back in, and that was a good amount of clay right there. So I pre-painted my frame because air dry clay will shrink. And so at first I used to always apply it on to paint it. And then you, you could do it that way and you can go back and touch it up. It's no biggie. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have quick and thick, quick bond, wait, tight bond, quick and thick. I love this glue. And I'm just going to get it all over, making sure I get it all on my edges. And then I'm going to flip it over. And work it in. Okay. And then I'm going to do this one. What's your favorite glue to use? I love this stuff. It, it's white, but it dries clear. And it's just easy to use and it sets really well. Usually, if I have something on the vertical, it, and I'm gonna squish this together here so that it'll do well. And then just make sure I get it nice and straight. And I chose this one because of the design that I'm gonna put inside. It has like little motifs of florals. Oh, there was a more air dry clay there. I didn't see that. I'll get that in there. But when I'm when I'm doing things and I'm trying to get do um, like a piece of furniture and it's vertical, it sets up pretty quickly. And I like that. Now usually with air dry clay, they, uh, they say that you should wait 24 hours before you paint it because it's still soft. And so if you paint it, you just want to be careful and use a light hand. So I'm just getting those in there, those joints, nice and firm. Just, and it doesn't bother me if you can see like the miter cut. So there we go. And occasionally you just wanna go and just make sure that it is sticking down. All right, I'm gonna wipe my finger. Of course, it's messy, but I like peeling glue off of your hands. <laughs> I used to always, I'm gonna put this little piece in here. When I was younger, I used to take the glue and, and rub it all over my hand on my palm and then let it dry and then peel it off. Who did that? <laughs> did anybody do that? All right. So now, so much heavier. It gives it a nice weight. And it's going to give it a, a really, really nice look. I don't know. Um, I can't see comments. I'm not really sure. I but if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. All right. I was trying to get my daughter to help me, but... She was busy doing something and she couldn't help. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my my black paint and I'm going to just, just an ordinary brush and I'm going to brush this paint on here. And you just wanna use a soft brush because it's fresh. You don't wanna mess up your impression, your casting. You want those details.
because what we're going to do is I'm going to end up white waxing this. And when you white wax it, it's going to go into the crevices. But if you can wait, wait an hour or two and let it get a little bit of a crust. And then you can paint it a little bit easier. You could always go back and touch up. But what I did was I, I, I designed um, some decoupage papers on rice paper. I bought a whole bunch of rice paper and I wanted to create my own designs to be able to do smalls. And so I decided to throw the artwork up on my website as digital paper. And if you want it, if you want to order it on, printed on rice paper, and because if you can't do it, let me know and I can do it for you. Um, but what you what you want to do is you want to print it. If you're going to decoupage it, you want to print it on a toner printer, preferably, because it won't bleed. But these are color. Um, color images so if you only have a black and white and you want it color and you have an inkjet color printer you can actually spray it with hairspray now yesterday what I did with mine is I put some big top in this little spritzer bottle with a little bit of water and I sprayed my paper that I ended up using with that I had another piece that I did the hairspray with. I've, I've never done that before. So that was kind of exciting and it worked. I'll, I'll show you the one as, as we're waiting this for this to dry. I'll show you the box that I decoupage. So I've got that artwork up, yesterday's piece, and I created three more today. And they're all on my website, lisaboondesigns.com, and they're under printables. And I, I need to actually move it on my website so it's a little bit easier to find but if you do a search on printables or it's, it's towards the bottom of the page but I am going to change it so that it's more on top um, and easier to look at because I'm going to cre be creating a lot more so these are things that you could use and for personal use you can download them you can do what I'm going to do today I'm actually not going to decoupage them I'm actually going to just put them in the frame just easy breezy or you can decoupage them onto things. You can use them for junk journaling, for scrapbooking, but it is only for personal use. And um, you just, it's just easy. Okay, I'm trying really hard to go fast, but not mess it up. All right. This is, this is just a quick project. But just to give you an idea of something different that you can do um, to create some really personalized gifts for people that you love for special occasions. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Um, I try to do things that were not just Christmas-y, but just that you can use all year round. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side. Now, it's hard to see the details because everything is black. But then once you wax it, that's when it really comes to life. So I'm going to show you this one. So this is the box. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting box. I really don't know what it was supposed to hold. I have no idea. Maybe you do. Um... I don't know what it was supposed to hold, but it has these compartments in it. So I figured I would leave it like that. I took one of the IOD molds that I made in resin. It's one of the cameos. And then I put that on there. And then this is the paper that I created. This is the artwork that I created. And um, and then I painted this. And it was I created this, not really thinking about how I was going to paint it. And then I ended up painting it in apothecary farm fresh and a little bit of boho blue and underneath here the top part I used beadboard and it matched perfectly with the paper I feel like that bird was a little bit of boho blue and so that's why I added it and I just think it was really really cool so I'm gonna put some um, feet on here on the bottom and then it will be done so I was kind of 
just ordered it on Amazon today. And then I will I will show it in community. Yeah, I love the idea of community. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and see where we're at. I know that there's probably a few places that I didn't get very well, so I'll, I'll look at that in a second. It's better to wait and let the air dry clay dry on its own, but you know, whenever you're doing a live or you're trying to do a tutorial, you kind of have to rush it. So it is what it is. If it cracks, it cracks. You could always take a little bit of clay and fill in the crack. Or I'm going to go ahead and water this paint down just a little bit so that I can get it a little bit thinner and get it into those areas that need it. There we go. Much better. For some reason, the black paint is a lot thicker. But what I love about it, because it is so thick, you could pretty much do one coat. Now here I'm having to do two because of the crevices. But if it was, if I would have made it a little bit thinner from the get-go, it would have been a lot easier. Now watch, let me hit this with the dryer and let's get this dry. This is the blackest black by DIY Paint. It's Little Black Dress. Usually my go-to black is black velvet. I love black velvet, but this is gonna work really well. And I need this to be really dry for my second step. I don't want to melt the plastic though. I'm trying to be careful. All right, let me see if I can let this, give it a second, because it's getting hot. I don't want to melt it. All right, so this is what I did. I have this graphic that I created, and it says, rooted and grounded, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. And so I just took like pieces of Ephesians 3, 17 and 19 and put it on that with the tree. The, the lights represent how we're supposed to shine our light. The tree represents how we're supposed to be rooted and grounded in his love and his, in his word so that we could grow strong. Um, like the tree planted by, you know, the living water, beside the living water. And then the florals here. And so that's why I chose mold because it has like some flowers going around it. And I thought it was a great um, addition. So what I did was if you're able to print this yourself, um, what you would do is the rice paper is really super thin. I was able to take, take it through my printer all on its own the first time I tried it. The second time I tried it, it moved a little bit and shifted, but it still printed well. And then after that, I could not get it to print at all. This was yesterday. So I just went ahead, like I do my napkins, and I taped it to my copy paper. And there you go. So this is, it's super, super thin. It is really great to decoupage with. I mean, I had never decoupaged with it before yesterday. And so I'm just gonna put this inside the frame. All right, let me see if I can hit this again. Maybe not as hot, a little bit lighter. Because what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna white wax it. And when I white wax it, it will bring out the details. And it will change it, it won't look so black. Now, what you could do is if you wanted it to stay really nice and black, you could clear wax it first, and then you have a little bit more control of where the white wax goes. Um, but I wanted, I still have a lot that's wet, and I didn't do a good job of painting these sides. Let me just do that real quick. Alright. 
What is it, baby? Uh oh. Get down. Get down. Ginger. Get down. She wants my attention. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. Make sure my hands are clean. They dry. Okay. So I'm going to take my paper and my cardstock. And I'm, I know I'm going to have to cut it. All right, let me put this to the side. Oops. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Let's see. I want this to kind of be centered. I want to be able to see a little bit of the white if possible. All right. Don't want to put this through a cutter because it is way too thin. I did that and ripped the paper. Really? He did that on purpose, y'all. He put that in the sink and kind of threw it in there and stared at me as he did it. That's because I made him t stop the TV. We were watching a show. Really? Are you, please don't do that right now. Oh my word. Okay, but they can wait just two seconds. I made him stop, the, it's not funny. I made him stop our show. We have been really into this show called The Unit. And um, I've been enjoying it. And I was like, you have to stop because I've got to do a live. I've been trying to do recorded videos. Um, and so, all right, this is what it's going to look like. I think it looks super cool, but it is a lot of black. And so I, you know, I toyed with what I wanted the frame to look like because I wanted it to pop. And that's when I decided I wanted to paint it black and then I wanted to white wax it. Now I've got these huge, thick chip brushes. Um, I sell these online on my store in um, lisaboondesigns.com or if you're local at now and then it's 575 McCoy Avenue in Madisonville and I love them. I actually use them. I have a two inch and this is a three inch but I'm talking this is fat and it's soft and that's what I like about it um, because and I had a little bit of wax here. I always put it on my lid and so I'm just going to go ahead and start waxing this and so when I wax it it's gonna seal it and it's gonna pull out the details you see my new artwork that I designed you don't ever show me I don't ever show you can I get a napkin because I was just about to grab one give me the one in your hand really wow he is extra today that's what happens when I stop the show, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull this back. Do you really? I'll embarrass you. He's trying to embarrass me. No, I won't. All right. So there's a little bit of paint because it's still a little bit damp, but you can see now the details, can't you? No, you can't? I really wasn't asking you, Mr. Boone. I ask you all the time. All right. So let's see. I want a little bit more here. But this is so soft and it's perfect for doing this so that you don't mess up your frame. So now you can see that detail. See how much nicer it pops? And what I'll do is... Um, I'll probably go back over the sides, but I had just painted those, so I don't want to get anything on that. But just a little bit of wax. That's all it took. 
I don't want to turn this upside down. I'm going to try to get this on here. Because the molds are very, very wet. So I don't want to press it down. Oh my goodness, let me see. Every time I lean on it, it's pulling it back. Okay, I'm just going to try to get this one. I think your time's up. My time's up? I'm, 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 I'm done. It's been two hours. It has not been two hours. You might be addicted to TV if your wife can't do a live for two seconds. All right, there we go. I'm trying to get it and not touch that is like hard to do did i get these is it one or two it's just one okay here we go and i'll have to just push that in just a little bit more um to get a little bit more sturdy but i think this came out super cute of course you can get a more detailed frame here let me put this up so that I can hold it up higher. Um, I need to do it this way. Okay. Sorry. Okay. This is easier. There we go. So what do you think? I really, really love the artwork. I love the way that it turned out. Um... This is probably my favorite one that I did today. And then, oh, I do have to fix my paper is up. It's a little bit too high up. But see the, the you can see all of the, the mold. And it just came out so pretty. So it can just sit there or you can put it up on a wall. So anyway. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you were inspired. Look for something tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what tomorrow, but I'll probably do another one of my papers that I just created. And again, these are on my website, lisaboodesigns.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I look forward to being with you guys tomorrow. And then next week, remember, I have three guests. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys um, will like and subscribe. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're new to my channel and you may not be aware, um, I have a monthly subscription group <laughs> for creatives that want to learn more about media and marketing. And so all of that information can also be found on my website. It, um, and I'll put all the links in the description <laughs> as soon as this is done. I hope you guys have an incredibly blessed day. Thank you guys for watching so much.